my greatest story that I love to tell because I was there personally. I was born in Massachusetts, moved to Florida when I was seven, grew up in Florida, Daytona Beach. In high school, I would go down to a local basketball court and, and just play pickup games. Well, there was a kid there, he was about 10 years old. He was always on that court after school, always. He loved the game of basketball. And he had a, a great ambition to play, loved the game. And I told him, you go, maybe if you keep this up, maybe someday you'll be in the NBA. He goes, no, I am going to be in the NBA. This is 10 years old. He knew what he wanted to do. Anyway, my mom was kind of a pessimist, ironically. But um, she goes, Brian, you know how many people, how many thousands of college kids go and think they're going to be, you know, a pro player? Like, it's such a small fraction of college kids that actually do that. I tell him this next time I see him. He goes, no, I am going to be in the NBA. And um, another, another fact, too, that I, I really don't tell this, but um, we would, us, most of the high school kids would show up to the park and we would let him play, even though he was smaller than us, cause it, just because he was younger, but he had all that heart. But we would compare him to Michael Jordan, and he would hate that. He goes, I'm not Michael Jordan. His name is Vince Carter. I'm Vincent Carter. And anyway, now that you know his name, not only make an NBA in 1999, he was the rookie of the year in the NBA, and every year since, he's still playing. He's been in an all-star game. So I'm very proud of him, and I was his very first fan. So he has millions of fans across the, the world now, and I was his very first, so that's great. The thing that I want people to get is never to give up on their dream, and knowing that it, it can happen, and you have to know it can happen in your brain first, in your mind first. You need to know that it can happen before you can get it.